Mercury is the last stop on our little quest to image the solar system here. And I've actually done that intentionally because Mercury is really difficult to image. It actually has some pretty unique challenges to it. And Mercury being the closest planet to the sun, technically the closest planet to all the other planets on average, a little fun fact there, but being the closest planet to the sun, it never really gets that far away from the sun, at least from our perspective here on Earth. And because of that, you can only really see, let alone image Mercury, during either sunset or sunrise during an elongation, which an elongation is when Mercury is positioned the furthest from the sun from our perspective on Earth. And during these elongations, it's never really more than 15 degrees away from the sun or above the horizon, which is pretty shoddy when it comes to astrophotography. Ideally, we were going to be looking at targets at minimum above 30 degrees above the horizon, just because we don't want to be dealing with looking through that much atmosphere, because the atmosphere is going to add atmospheric shimmer, and it has the potential, whenever you get down this low, of adding a crap ton of atmospheric dispersion, which looks a lot like chromatic aberration. And to add insult to injury, these little opportunities that we have, they're even time restrictive too, because either the sun's coming up or the planet's going down and you don't have a lot of time to lock in your imaging so it's really really challenging to get but we have to give it a go and there is an opportunity coming up here for me where it's going to be about 10 degrees above the horizon peaking and i've got a plan <laughs> we're going to get there really early get our focus on either the moon or jupiter which i should be able to find jupiter even though it's daytime but we're going to get our focus on those, have everything prepped, have everything uh, thermally acclimated. Then we're gonna hop over to Venus, which is gonna be, it's gonna appear first, obviously, because it's, it's much brighter, it's much closer to us than Mercury. And then from Venus, I'm gonna try and just manually slew my way to Mercury, which I'll have my apps and everything to try and know the approximate location. And we're just gonna give it our best go. Hopefully find it before, before it's actually visible to the eye, because we wanna have it as soon as we can because this is a sunset one so the earlier we can get it the higher it'll be the better we'll have for our imaging and that's exactly what we did so proper planning beautiful the clouds had me super worried though because a previous mercury attempt actually got messed up by those but all right everybody say hello to mercury We'll get a second Barlow in there in just a second. Ooh, that was hard to find. I still can't see it with my eye. It really did not stay up there long, but I managed to snag a little picture of it with my phone as well, so you can see what it looked like. And this was our data, which really does not look very good. The blue and red fringing on this is probably the worst I've ever had, so I actually had to try and rethink how I did my processing for this, but I took everything back into Registax and did some really hard treatment on the channel alignment, and then actually did a little bit of luminance stuff, particularly for the green channel, relying on it heavily. And I actually managed to pull a little bit of data out of this, so here comes the magic. We ended up getting a really nice crescent with that RGB alignment, and if we blow this up and pull up the Stellarium simulation at the same time, I actually legitimately think you can see a little bit of surface shading on here, especially towards that little shadow that leads across it. There's a little darker area in the center and some little lighter patches that kind of break up the homogeneity a little on the south side. So I, I'm not entirely sure, I'll leave that up to you guys, leave in the comments what y'all think about that. but. I didn't expect any surface shading, so this was kind of a pleasant surprise and a good question. And on that note, we're going to finish off this video. I've got a lot of stuff in the works still, some of it pretty interesting and pretty ambitious actually, so stay tuned for that. But hey guys, as always, remember to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. See ya.